Hello, dear friend. This is Alexander from Shy Sky Tech. Now I want to show you the mini brushless DC pump product of our company. Yeah, these models on the floor are the one I will introduce. It's our 160 model with 12 watts as rated voltage. Yeah, we can see its label. Okay. Its working voltage range can be from 5 to 12 volts and uh, it's now in my hand. You can see it's truly small in size. This is inlet, this is outlet. Okay. It's in brushless DC design. Can work with very low noise. Yeah. I will show you its work and performance. Okay. Now, I will use this AC-DC power converter as the power supply of our pump. Yeah. Now, we can see here it shows the current. Here, the indicator shows the voltage. Now, it's about 9 watts. So, we will adjust it to 12 watts. Yeah. Okay. Now, I have adjusted to 12 watts. 0.2 watts and now I will connect the power supply to the pump and then you can see the performance and work of this pump okay I will show you red is positive and the white value of the pump is positive so we connect them with each other also the black wire black wire is negative so we connect them with each other and now pump yes yeah. in fact it starts work but know that currently at this moment it's in dry work status dry work without fluid inside uh, frankly speaking it is prohibited but uh, here I just show you the, the, the performance at this moment. It should be avoided in your application. So, I throw this pump into the water. Okay. At this moment, I guess you will hear almost no noise. Right? Because it's in brushless DC design. No brush friction, supports continuous work for long time. Of course, it is it is now in submersible installation under the water, right? Let me show you the the, the performance of it. Okay. Yeah, you can see in this mini size, this one is in truly nice performance, right? I show you again. Yeah. Of course, it is now spraying. And it's almost no noise okay please note that this pump cannot dry work let me show you again now it's in dry work status without fluid and this should be avoided yeah and I throw into the water again it works very finely yeah okay 
I just show you the the work of this pump. And now I will introduce something else, okay, about its applications. Note that this pump cannot be self-priming. It has no suction lift. So its typical working environment can be these two applications. The first is submersible installation. The pump is located under the water and then it pumps water to the destination container, right? It's one typical installation. And the other one is land use. It means that this pump can also be located out of water. But make sure that the pump should be located under the surface of the flow. And the fluid can actively flow into the pump, then pump, pump to the destination container. Pump cannot be self priming because it works by high speed rotation or impeller inside. Yeah, it works through the push or through the fluid out of the outlet to realize the function of, perform uh, of pumping or circulation. Uh, you can just uh, you cannot locate the pump higher than the water and uh, insert a tube. If you want to use in this application environment, this pump is not suitable. It cannot be self premium Just note this point. Also, about the power supply, we have to note that um, its matching power supply can be DC battery small DT battery, yeah, uh, and uh, power adapter, and some other matching DC power supply. But note that it is sensitive to high voltage and could be easily burned if the over voltage power supply power it. Yeah, it will be burned immediately. So uh, if we power it with the matching power supply, Located underwater or uh, in the second installation environment, then the pump can work very fine. Yeah, uh, I guess that my video can give you a comprehensive view of this pump. Okay, yeah, so thank you for your watching. Nice day, bye bye.